Hey, welcome to the show today. I'm finishing up uh, my recent ebook on online dating. I'm teaching guys how to make hypnotic profiles. I had a profile that pulled 17, and this is true, 17 emails within one hour. Within an hour and a half, my whole e box was flooded. In fact, the same company that I uh, posted this profile on almost refused to cancel my ad when I put it up there. A lot of guys don't realize that online profiles are really just ads, and they just half-ass do them, and that's why they get half-ass results. So I'm going to show you guys how to create a hypnotically powerful profile that will pull women in like magic. Now, let me dispel some of the myths about online dating. Uh, within this community of the online seduction community, you'll see what I call idiots who say uh, you can't get women online. I don't know why they say that. Uh, if you've seen my videos, attractive women come in all ages, all sizes, all shapes, all features. And the online uh, community or dating community is kind of like a 24-hour nightclub that's open 24 hours. So if you're a guy that's trying to become a pickup artist or a player or whatever, this is a marketing outlet that you cannot pass up. Towards the end of my game, about 40% of my girls were coming from online. So that's powerful for me. I actually was smart enough to see the value in it. But it might be because I was in my 40s or late 30s at the time. Uh, because I was mature enough to see it. But uh, for you younger guys who aren't mature enough to see it, I urge you to use the online dating uh, services. Now there's a lot of different... Uh, uh, sites out there and I talk about the three major ones in the recent program that I just uh, put out it comes with an ebook ebook and 11 training videos including you know what are the three best sites to go to or three types of sites to go to so I broke them down into types now a lot of uh, fellows unfortunately have this misconception about uh, online dating and it, it's, it's it's sad. I urge you guys not to listen to those, those uh, idiots. For some reason, they think that it's cheating. I've seen guys say that, you know, you need to get off your computer, get in the real world. And that's true for some types of people. There are some people that won't go outside of their house. But that kind of person is not going to do successful in online dating either. Online dating is for the more of the social guy who can't make it to the nightclubs all the time. Um... They're tired of the nightclubs. You know, if, if you don't have time to get there or you work a lot or you're tired of the nightclubs, then you need to use some type of outlet. And day game is actually the hardest uh, game to try because a, a woman's trying to work during the day. You're trying to say that um, if you run up on her during the daytime and stop her while she's thinking about work and all the stuff the boss is putting on her head and try to get a date, only if you're Brad Pitt, <laughs> about that kind of quality. If you're not, then <laughs> it doesn't work. In my time, I found that besides the nightclub, online dating was the best outlet because it allowed me to pick and choose the kind of woman that I wanted. Towards the end of my game, I put my uh, age way up there because I was tired of dealing with kids. I was even tired of women. You know, I'm in my 40s. I was tired of women in their 30s because I realized, God damn, they're 10 years younger than me. Uh, you know, they're 32. Or if I was 43 and they're 33, you know, I was getting jealous of their age because I realized, you know, I was I was approaching 50 back then, and I started thinking, you know, when I'm 50, she'll be, huh? And then when I was dating the even younger ones, the 20 up to 24 year olds, I was thinking, God, if I was 60, she's only going to be 30, or something like that in her 30s, and I didn't want to be, you know, at the mercy of a 30 year old female while I'm 60. So I started, you know, dating higher in the age category. And so I finally ended up with my own age. I put 45, uh, 40 and up back then. So you could pick and choose what kind of females you want to attract. And a lot of guys have this misconception that there are no dimes on the internet. It's true there are not a lot of super fine women because they get a lot of attention wherever they go. But I found a really high quality of attractive women on the internet. Now, I don't look for one-night stands. I do look for same-day lays, but I want to build relationships after that. 
if they uh, pass the sex test. So I found that I would uh, have the girls meet, for, meet me for coffee. Then we would go to the Starbucks on the Alhambra here in Sacramento. If you live in Sacramento, you know where that is. Then I, if they were still nervous, I would go take them over to uh, the Zebra Club. If you live in Sacramento, you know where that is on 19th Street. Uh, ask for Brother Dave. I call him Brother Dave. If you go there, he's the guy that's you know, insulting everybody. And he's the one that called me the Mac. So ask him about the Mac. Because I bring all my dates there. You know, it's like a little game we, we <laughs> like a little game that we had going on. Uh, you know, I come in there showing you know, what, my, what my new catch was. Anyway, so from there we go to my place. It was that simple. And I found a lot of people, when they end up on the, uh, on the internet, or girls on the internet, they're, they're really tired of the nightclub game. They're tired of the games, period. And they were a little bit more, how can I say it, on the desperate side, but serious about dating. So you didn't get all the bullshit that you got from nightclubs, especially if you can't dance. If you can't dance, there's no reason for you to be in a nightclub, okay? That's for dancers. So if you can't dance until you learn how to dance, nightclub or uh, online dating is one of the best ways to go. Because when you try to run up on a girl in the streets, uninvited, you're uninvited. You know, that's cold approaching. That's like, that's the one out of 100 stuff, okay? And I don't have the time and energy to chase after 100 girls. It's, it's not a good investment of my energy. As a business person, I've got more to do with my energy and my time than that. We have like a pie that we live off of. You know, 24 hours a day. So I divide my pie up like this, you know. Uh, this is what I, the piece of the pie that I use for finding new women. And the rest of the pie, you know, I got my family, my kids, or I had my family and kids. I still have them, but they're grown now. And, you know, that pie gets divided up certain ways. Now, if you're one of those serious pickup artists, your pie looks like, maybe like this. And this is what you have for work and all that. All the rest of it is spent on chasing women. And I, I can respect that because my uh, chasing women was like 100% effort also all the time. Because when I went out to the coffee shops, I was constantly scanning for eye contact. Uh, if I went to the grocery store, constantly scanning. But I wasn't chasing unless there was, you know, some form of uh, interest going on. And that's how I was able to run my life like a business and conserve time. So if you're interested in running your life like a business and, and maximizing your time, I urge you to get into online dating and try my program.